How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Previously, I showed you a dishwashing method called the pyramid dishwashing method. It's a way where you stash all your dishes in a pyramid fashion before you wash it and then when you're rinsing it, you're also stashing it in a pyramid fashion so that you can save water and save time. A lot of you showed concern that using the pyramid dishwashing method actually uses a lot of water because when I was washing the dishes, I had the water running. This time I'm going to time myself and see exactly how long I'm running the water. I have a full sink of dishes here. First thing you do is pile them up so that you have the large dishes on the bottom and then the small things on top. So let me do that. See I got all the chopsticks here. You just stack all the similar bowls together. Okay, you see it looks a lot smaller already. I'm gonna clean this side first. This is about the flow rate I would use to wash dishes. It's about three millimeters in diameter and it's a stream. Okay, let me start. So I'm gonna begin washing. You see I have all the water on the top and whenever I change dishes, all the water falls on the bottom so I don't have to wait for extra water to uh, flow out of the faucet and into the next dish. I got 2 minutes 50 seconds in washing. I actually used 10 seconds of it to clean the basins. This is about the stream size I'm using, so let me click start here. Okay, 51, 52, 53. If I need to fill up the sink in order to submerge this plate, I'll probably use, you know, maybe uh, twice as much as water as this. Let me measure exactly how much. Two cups, about 10 cups. Now let me rinse the dishes and I'm gonna use a pretty high flow rate so I can do it really fast. You can see here, all the water that I'm using flows downwards into the rest of the dishes to clean them up. I'm putting all the dishes upside down so all the water would drain downwards into the sink and not on your counter. If you swirl it like this, all the soapy water tends to come out first. So you can use less water by swirling the water like that. This method actually saves you a little bit of time in the washing because you don't have to fill up your sink, wait for the water to come up first before you can start washing. On my last video, a lot of people were shocked because I was actually running the water to wash the dishes. Running water means wasting a lot of water to them, but it really depends on the flow rate. In this experiment, it only took about 10 cups. So I hope this proves to you that this is a pretty efficient way to wash your dishes. Don't forget to check out my Audible link down in the video description below. If you get an Audible book, you can get it. Uh, cancel the membership. You can still keep the book for free and you'll still help out this channel if you're interested. I have a Patreon link over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.